くしろ逃げけ七小隊のホモ野郎に負けるんじゃねえぞ Hey, how's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the Seven Onyx channel. Today we're building high grade Universal Century, the Gundam Ground High Parachute Pack. Uh, yeah, I kind of messed it up. Whatever. So, this is a premium man. I, I, so now may I, you know, kind of explain myself why I didn't buy the Gundam Ground type when it first released because I know there's a parachute pack premium man I release later. So, that's why I. Kind of hold back and then wait for the parachute pack to come out and then buy it. Well,、uh, let's just quickly, you know, open it. Here we go. We got one, two, three, four, five, five packages with a instruction manual that have absolutely nothing have to do to make a new instruction book. I mean, can they at least give us some illustration about it? Because Every time I open premium bandai's, you know, it's it's not really exciting to see a blank instruction book like this. Come on, bandai! Hey, everyone, please share this video to tell bandai make a proper instruction book for the premium bandai's. They deserve some love, okay? Anyway, so let's take a look at the front. So seems like, uh. Oh wow! This is actually the first premium man that I ever see uses all the parts in the runner. So you know, quickly flick through it. It's just a couple instructions. You see, oh my god, that's a lot of accessory. You can see at the top, that's a lot of accessory, man. That is a lot of accessory. And the parachute pack. That's very interesting. Let's move on to the runners part. Well, actually, I. Kind of underestimate the runner's number because when I saw like five packages and open it, it's it got a lot of small things in there. So let's take a look. So B two runner, we got some shoulders part, arms part, uh, side skirt, legs, beam sabers, and the feet and knees. This is a B one runner. Includes shield, waist part, uh, shoulders part, sky skirt, the beam rival. Torso, legs, head, and beam sabers, and some hand piece armor. Yeah, this is a C two runner in a joint of the、uh, Gundam, and I can see there's some joint on the legs, arms, and torso. That's the A one runner. We got shield, backpack joints, legs, feet,、uh, trigger hand. A beam rival antennas and other parts of the weapons as well. Eight two runner, waist part, the torso unit, the backpack. Oh, this is actually the shield, the shield part, and this two part. Not really sure which part is that. A E runner. Uh, we got the parachute pack. This is a new part, and then we got a gym head. The parachute pack, and yeah, that's basically it. C runner from the this is the Gundam Ground Heist backpack. C one runner in the frame of the MS, we can see shields, joints, and hand options, waist part, machine guns. A combined D runner. This is the weapons. I believe all the weapons. Were in all in this runner, so this is the extra ex、uh, accessories. We got stickers. This time we don't need that much, so I'm really looking forward to it. Potty caps. Uh, the clear piece for the gym head, the clear piece for Gundam head, beam saber's effect part, and marking stickers. Well, this is a lot of things. Uh, I'm personally, I'm pretty excited on building this, so I will see you guys at review.
Hey guys, welcome back to the review of the Gundam Ground Type and this is the finishing of it. I just need to say though, it's a very good Gunpla though, although some there's just one part of it that I don't like, I'll explain it later. But overall, I like this Gunpla. It's it designed very good and the new with the new technology, the joints been improved, the color separation is even better. Although some of it, I I feel like it can just done by sticker. Uh, it can just it can it don't even need stickers. It just by parts. But it's okay. We can deal with that. And I highly recommend you to not buy the regular release because if you buy, although the parachute pack is a bit expensive, but if you bought it, it got way more accessory for you to mess around. So if you're someone like. If you are someone that really likes to max with accessory, just buy the parachute pack version. It's not going to disappoint you and it's going to make your life much happier. You can mess around with a lot of accessories. And this gun plug got a very good articulation so you can basically mess around with the weapons, with poses as well. So I highly recommend you if you got the condition and if you got a good price and you got money just buy the parachute pack version parachute pack version is seriously in my opinion triple or quadruple better than the original regular release oh, okay anyway i'm not going to talk too much let's jump right into the review as usual let's start with the head so the head this time can move up down and move and during the joint is a bit tight but during the head is actually a little bit limited you can move uh, slightly left and right but it's okay though anyways you're not gonna move the head too much so I think it's fine the color separation on the head is done a amazing job and they this time they give you a lot of details that you can see after the panel line you can see the heads detail very clearly uh, all the green parts of the cameras is by stickers expected <laughs> and this time the parachute pack it comes with another head the gym head that you can put it on uh, as you can see the camera is stickers as well so nothing really special about it there's a clear piece on the gym head as well as the Gundam head as well it got a clear piece inside the head but you can't really see it during the stickers covered it up all right now let's talk about the torso the torso is really easy to pop out so i need to be extremely careful when i'm moving around it as you can see it just popped out again so I don't really like the torso design though because you know ball joint as I just said in the last video ball joint is a very disgusting thing if you watch my DJ video I already explain it to you ball joint is a very disgusting thing and as you can see it's very easy to pop out like this but I can show you without it so overall the 
the waist piece here actually can move uh, 40, 40 degrees to each side and then you can see the torso separ color separation is a it's doing a very good job though uh, only stick has been used is the triangle here and I already moved it because I accidentally do it uh, and the stickers is not really you know doing that well so you might as well want to watch out about that and the waist here uh, you can move it uh, individually the skirt armor is a very good design though and the side skirt also can lift up uh, 45 as well back skirt as usual is dead you can't really move it so yeah I would just I'm just gonna put back the torso on the first because I seriously hate this ball joint can you not use ball joint man I like please right now let's talk about the hands movement so there's a piece here that you can move the arms slightly forward the arms is capable of rotation 360 uh, it's also capable of bending up with a very good angle also capable of have the arms spinning down here and the whole arm is uh, rotation as well can do it and also it can lift up 90 very easily though actually so the hands articulation is definitely full marks the legs up here uh, it can bend very good very well as well the, the piece of armor here actually is movable as well so you can just kind of mess around with it the legs can move uh, front, back, front, back, and the tip of the feet can slightly move, so it can help you to do uh, more poses. Also, uh, after you turn, after you flip up the front skirt armor, you can kick out more than 90, kick to the back, not really well, kick to the side, not nearly 90, and overall the movements of well, the hands and the legs is extremely well, and the torso, I feel like it's gonna pop out in any seconds. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention about it. The yellow piece on the waist is actually a sticker. It could have been done by parts, but I don't know why then I didn't do it. They might be lazy or something, but anyway, that's not really important. The problem is the, oh my God, the torso pieces just keep annoying me. Like, this is why I don't really like ball joints. Like, you can see in this video, it keep popping out like 10 or 50 times already and I have to fix it again. Right now, let's talk about the accessory. You got a lot of accessory for your mess around. So first we got this typical uh, shield and as you can see, this double joint here so you can link it on the hand and then you can move it at whatever the direction you want. To put it on the arm, simply just find the joint and then just put it in like this and then, oh, oh my God, even this thing is kidding me. My god, I feel like this Gunplo is just hates me, man. Anyways, you get the point. It's <laughs> just putting on there. And then you can put, you know, oh my god. And then you can mess around with. And it also got a standing pose on the shield. And basically, you just open up the bottom of the shield and there you go. So this is the shield. Next up, we got a missile launcher and as you can see it's plain gray no color separation at all the handles on the on the bottom can be moved and then you can adjust the angle with it but overall it's just a missile launcher it don't give you any uh, opening options or let you see the missiles in it not really having it and you also need to recolor the these fans as well next up the net gun the net gun is something that i Kind of, oh, oops, I said the neck gun is kind of something that I like. And as you can see, the handle down here is uh, movable. You can move it from the front, back, whatever you want to whatever you want to do. And the handle on here is slightly movable as well. You can adjust to the angle that you want. No color separation. Again, if you really want it, then you can paint it your own. Uh, next up, we got a bazooka. And the bazooka not really having having anything and as you as usual the handle is slightly movable and if you want to call it a detail all the you know all the caps on the weapons can be pulled out so it works just like an RG and as you can see here we can see this missile detail here I don't know if you really can see or not but there's a missile details here you need to repaint it and you can probably see it next up we got a Beam Rival is just the same type as the Blue Destiny ones. You've seen it like three times. I've been doing that review for a lot of times. So you is you you guys are probably very familiar with this one. Um, not really special, white, and then sticker, and then, you know, gray body. Not really special at all. 
And next up, you guys seen it a lot of times, I even hate it. Uh, the machine gun though, Blue Destiny, EZ8, all got it, you don't really need to uh, do anything about it. And there's a cap down below that you can pull it out, but I choose to glue it because I don't think I'm going to take it off anyway. And two hand options, one is a open hand for the left and one is a trigger hand for the right. Also, we got uh, beam saver effect parts. And where's the beam saber? Just like the blue distance, you simply just need to, you know, use a bit of, use a bit of, you just need to use a bit of strength and then you can pull out and the beam saber is right in the legs armor. And as you can see in the legs, it's got also got details as well. Remember the panel line here, there's a lot of details as well. Remember the panel line about that. But anyway, this is the basic uh, weapon introduction. Now I'm gonna move up to the part that you all been waiting for, the backpacks. All right, first we're gonna introduce to you the guy that you guys been waiting for, the parachute backpack. Uh, absolutely great color separation, uh, except for this part. This two is stickers, the black part is stickers, or you can, you know, you can do it with a gun marker, I don't care. Uh, the thrusters, you need to repaint it to red in inside. And other than that, the color separation and the detail is showing pretty great. You do a bit of penalization and it looks pretty good. And it's very simple to put it out. I, I like the part that even did the color separation on uh, in here. I like that part because uh, Blue Destiny revived version though. Uh, the thing that I really disappointing about is the, uh, the vents, the vents in the backpack. Uh, don't get a color separation is that they use those crumbed up stickers and then you just shove it in and there you go But uh, this parachute backpack is pretty simple to put it on all you have to do is just uh, There's two connectors here and all you have to do is just snap it on like this Oh, give me a second There you have it snap on parachute backpack like this and after you put on the parachute backpack the gunpla standing probably sometimes will shake and it even lean backwards as you can see, so you really need to adjust the angle before you let the gunpla stand. So uh, just be careful. The parachute backpack is kind of heavy, and it will probably like this, you know. All right. Anyways, so now I'm gonna turn to the backpack first. All right. Next up, we got this original backpack. So uh, this backpack it uses the old uh, Gundam Ground Tide mold. So the construction is not gonna be very good. And you can see some gaps in the backpack. You can see it at the side. There you go. You can see some gaps. So it's not really perfect, but it's not really bad though. So acceptable, I would just say. Uh, remember the panel line because there's some details on it as well. Very exciting, right? And when you open it, uh, it gives you an option to open. And you can see there's another weapon in the backpack as you can see that's the cap and then I can pull it out so the cap just very simple you just put it out like that and then the whole thing you can just put it out like this so as you can see there's a weapon weapon pack in there and I'll show you I'll just quickly show you how to uh, build the whole gun up so first let's take out all the pieces here so you know be careful be gentle because you know PS material as always soft not reliable Feel like this is like a kind of kind of idiot thing so first we have the back of the gun you just basically move the handle to the front again and then we're gonna need this big piece here and then you just basically connect it on it like this and then now we're gonna put the cap back on we're gonna put the cap back on like this so now half so now it's pretty much done halfway and then next you're gonna need to put the Next, you're gonna put a, wait, which part is that? Oh, here. So next, you're gonna put in another gun part here. You can just face it and then, oh, dropped it. And then lastly, the barrier. The barrier, remember, the side with the two holes is facing front. Other than that, you can connect it to the front like this. And there you go, the part that you've been waiting for, the uh, long cannon, uh, the side, handle can be flipped out and adjust to the angle that you wanted. I feel like this is pretty cool though. You can actually recreate the scene from the anime that you can put the whole backpack. I mean, put the whole gun into the whole backpack and then let the let us rebuild it again. I think this is a pretty good idea though, but the problem is it's a bit tight to pull, a bit tight to, you know, be careful when you uh, disassemble it because probably gonna break it and now I'm just gonna quickly show you how to put on the backpack now first you need to open all open up all the 
uh, backpack open up the whole backpack and then you just basically that's it you can see the joint here you can see the joint here and then basically you just whoop, you just all you have to do oh sorry i forgot to pull down you need to pull down the backpack as well guys and all you have to do is just put it on come on come on there you go and then you push up the backpack and there you have it it's been on on already and it's good to go it's it's pretty stable you're not gonna you know, you're not gonna shake it halfway and then you're gonna pop out. That's a great thing to hear, to hear about. It's actually strong enough to hold a backpack. I absolutely love that design of the Gampla. Right, so this is the end of the review. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I always need to say though, this is a pretty fun Gampla to mess around with. I tried to make a pose that is pretty good. As you can see, I let the backpack out, the shield out, and let the gun out. It looks pretty good though. I also need to say that the articulation gives me a huge surprise and it also very fitted the theme now you can hold the gun properly and this time the joint is strong enough to hold the guns together and i'm very glad about that because you don't really want a forearm joint that is so soft then can't really hold up the weapon now this time we can clearly hold the weapon and it's holding pretty good though i also need to say though and i really recommend you to buy one even even though uh, if you don't really have the condition or have any money or have any access to buy the parachute pack version uh you can just buy the regular one because the regular one is still gonna be fun it's just not that much accessory to play a while but if you uh got that condition and you have the money and you have the options to do i still recommend you to buy the parachute pack that's it and uh this is the end of the review hope you guys enjoyed this video be sure to drop a like on my videos and subscribe and subscribe to my channel as well and i will see you next time in another gunplay review goodbye